Hello fellow rogues and alchemists, and welcome to another episode of Thomcraft 6, The Forbidden Arts. Last time we made some flux crystals, and my favorite gut thing of all time, the arcane grappel, grappler. This time, we're going to do as we promised, and build some elemental tools. I am excited for this. Let's do it. Okay. So first crack open our book. We're going to need to get... Aqua and herb, but we got tons of herb, but we need more aqua. We need to figure out something for that. Probably just go with boats. Motion herba and water. Yeah, that's that's good. Boats are really good. Okay, we'll go with boats. And since we made that dioptra, found out that our flux situation isn't really as bad as I thought it was. Unless it's like leading me to a false sense of security, which I hope it's not. So we're going to smelt up all these boats and some dory, because it's going to make some stuff that we're going to need for another craft we're going to be doing later today, because I want to go through all the different tools. I literally have only one great wood log in here, which is almost enough for what we need. We need more great wood. So I think it's great that we start with our axe. And I should have just enough rare earths. We need five, and we got five. <laughs> to be able to make this. I love Arcane Infusion now that we got these stabilizers in place. And that they're actually working. <laughs> so let's get this axe. Should have everything. Alright. Make me something magical. We're missing something. We're missing the aqua crystals. I'm sorry. There you go. Should be all happy. All right, let's do it. I will never get tired of this. We have some arcane stones. And I might want to surround this with those warning stones because you can use those to make sure. I can see it being very bad if we get surprised by a monster or any other unexpected guests while using this. Yeah. Oh, it's so neat. Axe of the Stream. Rowing and Collector. I don't know if this thing has durability. It probably does. Now that we have this, we need to find the Great Wood. Okay. Let's see how this thing works. Oh, I see. So, we should be chopping this tree down from the top down? Yeah, okay. Alright. This is the weirdest way to chop down a tree ever? Oh, that's cool. Look at the bubbles! Come to me. Okay. Honestly, it's worth it for the bubbles. Just that alone, it's worth it for the bubbles. I'm a fan. Like, let's see how it looks like taking down like this thing right here. <laughs> yeah, just... Just sucks the, uh log out of it. That, that's hilarious. <laughs> cool. Alright, my bubbly axe. You have done well. Okay, sweet. I'm having fun. What's next? The sword. Motus, uh, swordy, and air. Okay. So we're going to fuse this with air, motion, and stabbiness. And we're using air crystals. I haven't actually read what this does yet. So... I'm trying to anticipate. What... See, it's gonna hurt things, it's gonna move, and it's gonna be light. A very fast sword, maybe? I don't know. Still stable. Cool. Yes. 
Sword of the Zephyr. Arcing. Okay. What does the Arcing Sword do? I've merged the Elemental Fury of Air Shards with a Thaumium Sword. When used to strike a foe, the blade will sweep in a wide arc hitting additional foes near your main target. While blocking, the sword will conjure a sphere of whirling winds around you, pushing enemies and loose objects away and deflecting incoming projectiles. While blocking, it will also slowly lift you into the air. Ah, oh, this is awesome! Okay, 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 I don't, I, I don't want to spoil any surprise. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, 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 just, 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 just a second, just a second. Do 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 Oh yeah, do <laughs> Okay, you can still get hurt. Oh that <laughs> that's too awesome. Jump. Zephyr wins. Zephyr wins. Oh I can do a little little puff of, of, of airs. Oh that's so cool. That doesn't even use V. Does it use durability? It's it's hurt. I am going to need mending very soon. Okay, that counted as fun. Okay, what's next? I need more things. Metal, census, and fire. We should have all those. I can put fortune five on that pick. Oh, okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I love this stuff. So cool. Make for me. Yes. 30, 30, 30. I didn't even check the amounts. Okay, we're good. It's very stable. Fire in the pick. We have water axe. I get it. Air sword. Wow, the last horse finally crosses the finishing line. We're going to get one for each of the core elements, aren't we? Alright, let's see if she does. Pickaxe of the core. Refining and sounding too. Okay. Let's see what that does. By infusing a Thaumian pickaxe with fire shards, I have designed a pickaxe that glows with the heat of the forge. When you mine ore blocks, there is a chance that you'll mine a cluster instead. Native clusters are much easier to process and produce double the normal amount of metal when smelted. It can also be used to sound out any surface you might sound out any surface you right click against to find out what viable ores are, can be found nearby. What? We did the little vengeance pickaxe trick again. What's interesting is the vengeance pickaxe this time not only gave us fortune three, but also came with vorpal on it. So it looks like it gets like fortune five always. And then gets like a high level enchant for its second. We got Vorpal, which I think would be great. It, it shows me here I can be put on the sword. It sounds powerful. It's Vorpal 3. Actually, I'm kind of curious what Sanguine goes on. Sanguine doesn't show any type of tool, you see. That's interesting. Anyway, I uh, get distracted. We don't have 35 levels to enchant this yet. And to do that, we need sands. We can make bottles so I can cheese them out of this. So we're going to pause on the pickaxe real fast, and we're going to go right to the shovel, because that's going to make getting the sound easier, right? But in the meantime, I am, I do, and I will have enough power to get Vorpal on the sword. <laughs> Bonus! This one I can actually do symmetrically, which is kind of nice. That. And this. Shovel. Make her magical. This will never get old. I'm going to enjoy this forever. So we got a crafting shovel or a work shovel. Give me 
gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice. Okay. Shovel of the Earth Mover. Destructive. All right, let's uh, scan this. Okay. What does a Shovel of the Earth Mover do? Combining earth shards with a thomium shovel, I have designed a peerless digging implement. When used to dig earth, sand, and similar materials, it will dig a 3x3. If you right-click on the side of a block, it will attempt to place a 3x3 section of the same material in the world as long as you have sufficient blocks in inventory. The orientation of both digging and construction depends on the face you dug or clicked. If shift is pressed, you can see where the blocks will be placed in the world, and you can change the orientation of how blocks are placed by pressing G on the keyboard. Blocks can be placed either parallel to the block face selected or extended out of the face. If shift is held, it'll suppress its abilities. Okay. So if we go, we need sand to get, uh, let's see, is that going to dig it down? That is. Okay, so we don't want to, so we want to get the top face. Yeah. Okay. It's it's a little weird, actually, to do it the top face like this, but that's not so bad. I mean, this is actually making it so much faster to get all this. Smelt this down inside our infernal smelter. And, uh... This isn't even enchanted yet. <laughs> it's going to be very important that we get a breaking in some way to repair these, because I don't want to keep on making them. Oh, no! Well, do you know what? At least if it's gonna rain, wait until night. Let's get back to the pick. Smelled up the sand. That's not how this works. While that smelts up. Gee, heck, we, we always need more of this stuff. We might as well just cook it up. Okay. So now we're to the to the hoe. The hoe of growth is what I was called believe it was called. Order and chaos. Order, chaos, and herba. Hoja. And then finally, the hoe. Alright. Let's do it. Is it doing anything? Yes, okay, I was worried for a minute. So this thing should make crops grow, I suppose. Full suite of tools, hoe of growth. Let's see what this will do. By merging the magical energy from order and entropy shards with a thomium hoe, I have created a farming implement with a few with few equals. When used to till fields, it will till a three by three instead of just one. When used to crops when used on crops or other plants it will act as a bone meal to promote its growth. Though at a higher cost of durability, it might even be able to grow plants that normal bone meal can't. If shift is held while using this tool, special properties are suspended. Okay. Do you work on crystals? No. That's okay. Do you work on these? That's neat. 
And look at the <laughs> look at the particles. Okay, cool. So that hurts. That hurts though. That that hurts it a bit. Please tell me that didn't make flux. I think that was over here. Well, we have lots of blackberries now. In no time flat. Oh, we're just going through the door. Too many blackberries now. Okay. Now time we've been waiting for. I want to see what this pick does. Wow, it wasn't even enough. My goodness. You know what? I am going to do that. Because <laughs> the sand, I want to turn into glass anyway, right? So, yeah. Whoa. We're just saving a step. That's all we're doing. <laughs> I am a fan. I don't have to throw this inside the uh, <laughs> infernal smelter now. I can just get glass directly this way. We got enough now. Let's make this happen. <laughs> so distracted by all the awesomeness. That's got a lot on it. Now we just need to find some place that we can test this thing. We need to find some metals. I'm wondering with the way this world generates stuff, if it's going to... I mean, one, is Fortune 5 mean we're going to get more than one core? Because if that's the case, that's amazing, because we can duplicate the core. And if we can duplicate the core and then duplicate the processing, so good. There. So, it's confirmed. Even though they're giving us these, we still get these clusters. That is amazingly good. Sweet. So let's see what happens when we put just a single native iron cluster in here. Just one. That doubled. So we're maybe doubling two and a half, three times or so between getting these, which double on their own right, and then getting more of these than what we should normally get. I'm not complaining, that's awesome. But I would like you guys to grow. That would be nice. <laughs> That's so cool. I I'm sorry. I love these. <laughs> these tools are neat. Also, now that we have all of them in here, that might unlock something else. The fortress armor and infusion enchantment. We need more arcane infusion. I, I want to get this unlocked. So I'm thinking next time we're going to unlock this because we need on we need mending on these tools in the worst way. We're going to call that an episode for today, everybody. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed, please subscribe. Don't forget to check out Sassy Rogue on her side of the channel. And I'll see you in the next episode of Thomcraft or Forbidden Arts. See you later, everybody. Bye. Subscribe.